In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing five easy steps to reclaim your health. Hi, my name is Diana. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Instead of waiting for the new year to set fitness and health goals, I figured we could start now so that we could end off the year on a good note and start the year off on an even more positive note. Before we get started, I just wanna say that it is perfectly normal to fall off track when it comes to your fitness and health journey. We've all been there, it happens to the best of us. Life's demands, unexpected setbacks, or simply losing motivation can sometimes lead us off course. Fortunately, if you are somebody who is truly passionate about health and wellness, then getting back on track is completely achievable with the right approach. With that said, here are a few practical strategies and a couple tidbits of advice on how you can get started right now. The first step in reigniting your fitness and health journey is to simply revisit your initial goals and just do a quick little check-in with yourself. Reflect on why you started in the first place, whether it was to improve your strength, increase your energy levels, or even to achieve a specific aesthetic. Remind yourself of the purpose behind your journey. I personally like to utilize this time as a way to reflect on my goals and even set new ones. This reflection will reignite your motivation and provide you with a clear direction on how to move forward. So my tip to you is to do a quick check-in with yourself, reflect on your goals, and ask yourself, is it time to set some new ones or are these goals still good? Like, should I continue on and get back on track with these goals in mind? Number two, start small and build momentum. Depending on how you like to work, it might be better for you to ease your way back into your health and wellness routine slowly, especially after taking a hiatus. For me personally, I'm somebody who likes to just dive in head first. So after a vacation or even a few days off, I'll typically go in and do a really, really hard workout just to see if I still got it and just to kind of prove to myself that I do. There's nothing wrong with that to each their own. That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm utilizing the same weights and same reps and all of that during my workout, but I do love a challenge, so I do try to make my workout extremely challenging. However, if you are somebody who likes to ease your way into things slowly, then start with a manageable workout or very light dietary changes that align with your current fitness level. Avoid pushing yourself too hard too fast because that will lead to burnout or it might even just discourage you. So just take it day by day because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you're doing it. My tip to you is to take things slowly and gradually increasing your intensity over time will help you regain that strength that you once had. It'll also help you build momentum, which will, of course, encourage you and give you that motivation back. Number three is to establish a realistic routine. Consistency is key in any fitness and wellness journey. So create a routine for yourself that fits in seamlessly into your life. Try to consider factors like your work schedule, family commitments, and personal preferences. If you're somebody who is incapable of waking up early and going to the gym because you're not a morning person then don't force yourself to wake up early you don't have to it is 100 okay to not be a morning person it's 100 okay to not be a 6 a.m gym goer just go in the evening and prep for that bring a gym bag bring everything that you need with you so you literally have zero excuse not to go I also definitely recommend bringing a pre-workout with you so that way you're feeling a little bit more pumped to actually go into the gym, especially after a long day of work. There are plenty of caffeine-free pre-workouts that you can utilize so that way you're not up until super late at night due to the caffeine. My tip to you is to create a structured plan for yourself to make it easier to stick to your fitness and wellness goals so that it is sustainable for you. Next up, diversify your workouts because injecting variety into your workout program can 100% reinvigorate your motivation and prevent plateaus. Try to incorporate a mixture of cardiovascular, endurance, and strength training into your program. Not only will this approach keep things more interesting for you, but it also will target multiple different muscle groups for a well-rounded and effective training program. Additionally, if you're a female, 
diversifying your workouts will benefit you even more because of your menstrual cycle which affects your physical performance at the gym it affects your mood your strength it affects everything essentially so tailoring your exercise programs to your menstrual cycle will help you optimize your workouts and help you feel significantly more in tune with your body for example i know that when i'm menstruating the chances of me hitting any prs the chances of me being extremely strong at the gym are probably slim so i try to tailor it to the best of my ability so my tip to you is to not make exercise a chore you have plenty of those already keep fitness a fun aspect in your life do some strength training do some hit go for a run go for a steady state walk try yoga at the end of the day diversifying your workouts is the key to keeping things fun and interesting next up prioritize nutrient dense foods because nutrition plays a fundamental role in your fitness and wellness journey if your diet is not on point your workouts will not be on point i'm not saying you have to give up all of the pleasures of life and eat chicken and broccoli every single day but at the end of the day you do need to prioritize protein intake you do need healthy fats for brain health and hormonal health i've been passionate about wellness and fitness for the last five years and due to that i've become incredibly in tune with my body so i know for example that during my luteal phase my body needs more food it needs more calories so you need to figure out what your body needs in order to thrive stop restricting it stop overfeeding it and most importantly stop feeding it garbage so my tip to you is to focus on consuming nutrient dense foods that provide your body with all of the vitamins all of the minerals and all of the micro and macro nutrients that your body needs to perform at its absolute best and don't forget to hydrate the bottom line is that reigniting your fitness and wellness journey is an incredibly powerful step in becoming a happier and healthier you so to recap if you're trying to get back on track after falling off the bandwagon for a little while start with the following number one do a check-in with yourself realign yourself with your goals or set new ones number two ease your way back into it don't force it ease your way back into it if that's what you need the most important thing is to build that momentum and stay consistent number three establish a sustainable routine for yourself Contrary to popular belief, you don't need to work out every single day to reach your goals. And you also don't need to wake up at the butt crack of dawn to reach those goals either. Figure out what works for you and stay consistent. Don't cheat yourself. Diversify your training style. This will keep things so much more fun and interesting for you. Try hot yoga. Try regular yoga. Try some sort of class just trying new things to see what you do like and what you don't finally prioritize your nutrition food is fuel we've all heard the phrase your body is a temple so treat it like one and that is 110 percent true just think of it this way if you had a really nice luxury car would you feed it with cheap fuel probably not you would buy the highest top tier fuel that that car needs your body is no different it deserves the best fuel in order to function at its absolute best remember you only have one body so treat it like the masterpiece that it is remember that consistency and patience are your allies on this journey embrace the process celebrate your wins and keep moving toward a stronger healthier and better you with that said i hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye